All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with some fight news out of the UFC. So, Joanna Janjacek and Michelle the Karate Hottie Watterson have verbally agreed to headline in San Francisco on October 12th. That'll be UFC on ESPN Plus number 19. Uh, this news was broken earlier today uh, via Brett Okamoto of ESPN. Should be an interesting matchup. Looking at the stats, you have Jan Jacek coming in five, or excuse me, 15 and three. Karate Hottie is 16 and six, or 17 and six. Uh, Jan Jacek's coming off a title fight loss to uh, Valentina Shevchenko earlier this year in, at uh, you, excuse me, at 125 pounds. That was might have been in December, I think. Um, of course, Watterson is coming off of three straight wins uh, all against top 10 opponents uh, you know in the number six to number 10 range in the strawweight division this fight is going to be at strawweight uh, looking at the stats here uh, Watterson's older by a year 33 to 32 uh, Jan Jacek has a three inch height advantage 50, 5 feet 6 inches to Watterson's 5 foot 3 and she will have a three and a half inch reach advantage, 65.5 inches to Watterson's 62 inch reach. So this should be an interesting fight. Uh, the most interesting aspect of it is, it is what is Michelle Watterson gonna be able to do against Ioana Janjacek? That to me is the question of this fight. What can Michelle Watterson do against Ioana Janjacek? She's not as good of a striker. Uh, her, the range is where Ioana you know, tends to excel against most opponents. Uh, in the clinch where Watterson relies on her takedowns is where Yana probably does her best work. I mean, her most vicious work is in the clinch. And can she get Yana down? Watterson mostly has that one takedown, that head arm throw. I don't see her getting Yana down with that. And even if she does, can she keep Yana down? A lot better and stronger grapplers who weren't as undersized have tried to keep her down and they've all failed. Um, so the big question for this fight will be, what will Michelle Watterson's game plan to win this fight be? As for Ioana, she'll probably keep it on the outside for the most part because she has that length, she has the height and reach advantage. Um, if it does go to the clinch, she'll probably uh, just outwork her there in the clinch. She has the knees, she has the elbows, she's, she's, she's a Muay Thai fighter. She's built for the clinch. Um, so that, those are really the questions for that fight. I like the fight. I'm surprised Joanna took it. She seemed to be wanting to sit out and wait for a title shot against Andrade. But I guess once the Zahn fight happened, she realized, oh, I'm going to have to take a fight now. Uh, so it is good to see Joanna taking a fight again instead of sitting out waiting for a title shot. And in the meantime, Watterson, this is a must-win fight for her because if she loses this, she has to start all over. Uh, so... That's really what I have for now. Um, I don't normally make uh, predictions this early, but I'm going to go with Yana to win this one right now. It, that could change in the future, but this one, I really doubt it. Anyway, let me know what you think about the matchup in the comments down below. Uh, likes are always appreciated, and what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest-growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And we'll see you for the next one.